Welcome back to Witness. It is the most holly jolly, wonderful, beautiful time to be alive because we have 25 videos in the month of December. Now a very, very long time ago, I intended to start a series called Top 5 Exercises for Certain Muscle Groups, but I only did abs and then I neglected the series. So today, we're coming back. Today is about hamstrings, so I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite hamstring exercises without using any machines. These exercises are my go-to. I would not recommend to go to the gym and just whip out all five because that's a lot of hamstring work. But I wanted to give you some ideas of exercises that you can throw into your next leg day if you got some stubborn hammies like your girl. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to Subscribe so you never miss a Fit Tip with Wit again. Let's tackle the hamstrings. Let's get into it. Now these exercises are in no particular order, but I will say that the first exercise, it is my favorite. Now when it comes to isolating just the hamstrings, the straight leg deadlift is always, always, always a go-to. You will hardly ever see me not doing it on leg day. I want to list off a lot of pros and cons to each exercise. I can't think of many cons to this exercise besides the fact that sometimes, especially for beginners, it can be hard to learn. When it comes to a straight leg deadlift, it's important to hinge at the hips. There should be no movement in your upper body, especially in your back. In a straight leg deadlift, it's important to keep your weight on your heels and press your booty back. Now there's so many ways to do this, whether that's with a barbell where you load up your own weight, you take a preloaded barbell, which a lot of gyms have, which is awesome for beginners, and then also with dumbbells. They are all super effective. Make sure you keep the bar or the dumbbells very close to your shins and your legs straight. If you are on the more flexible side, there's also a ton of different variations, which include putting a plate underneath your toes. I do this one a lot where I stand on two boxes and then I hold a dumbbell and it allows me to get just a little bit of a deeper stretch to really hit the hammies hard. A lot of people tend to raise their neck up and back as they go down into the movement. That's gonna take a lot of your strength out of the movement and it's not very good for your neck or your back. You will feel a day and night difference so the next time you're in the gym doing straight leg deadlifts, watch your head placement. And that goes with almost everything. Anything bent over, make sure your head and your neck are staying in alignment with your spine. Now once again, I'm not playing favorites, but this is my second favorite, you know? These aren't in order, but this just happens to be my second favorite, and that's the single leg, straight leg deadlift. Now you might be thinking, Whitney, is it number one and number two the exact same, except for ones with one leg? Yeah pretty much, but I also feel these exercises very differently. On a straight leg deadlift, it's super easy to place all pressure into your, your heels and push your butt back. With a straight leg deadlift, it's very difficult to press your butt back. With this one, once again, there are a million and ten different variations that you can do. You can do this with a barbell, with dumbbells, you can do this holding onto a pole, holding onto a chair. Again, with this exercise, it's important to hinge at your hips, keep your core nice and tight again, and then once again, be sure to watch your neck and head placement. I would say a con to this exercise is if your balance isn't very good, you're still working on it, which it will come. Patience, practice, you can work on your balance day by day. That is a con to the exercise is it does take a lot of balance, but that's why holding on to a chair or a pole or a wall will really assist you. Our third exercise is good mornings. Now, I got a lot of cons to say about good mornings, okay? When you're squatting, it's super easy to keep the bar kind of up here on top of your shoulder blades, but with good mornings, you want to really stretch back and pull the weight back onto your back of your shoulder blades. Whew, that was a lot of backs. So if you're not as flexible here, which I am not, it can be pretty difficult to get the bar all the way back so that it's not hurting your neck. This exercise will also place all pressure on your heels and you will press your booty back, girl. It's a fun feeling. It feels like you're gonna fall and then you just shoot back up. Core tight, hinge at your hips, and make sure your neck is in alignment with your spine. Moving on to our fourth exercise, this is a good one. A single leg hamstring bridge burns my hammies in just a very different way. The first three exercises were all pulling the hamstrings, and this one we're just 
we're, we're pressing. So it's gonna be a completely different feeling in your hamstrings than with the first three exercises. All you need for this one is a bench and a mat to lay on. You don't even need to have a weight. Just doing my body weight gives me a good enough pull in my hammies, especially if I throw this exercise in after doing something like a straight leg deadlift, your hammies are just gonna be on complete fire. And I really think it's beginner friendly because you just lay on the floor and and press up. I would suggest keeping your toes up and pressing through your heel. It's gonna give your hamstrings just an extra pinch right at the top. In my last hamstring exercise I wanted to include in this video, it, it's, it's controversial. Now this is going to be a hamstring curl with a dumbbell off of a bench. If you have access to a machine and you'd prefer to do just a lying leg curl, I absolutely love that machine. I think it's so good for your hamstrings. But this is a video for non-machines, so we're just using a dumbbell today. But because we are using a dumbbell, if you don't have a friend to place a dumbbell in your legs, it can be a bit awkward. I feel very comfortable in a gym and even this exercise sometimes can make me feel just a smidgen awkward. I just feel like my butt and my hoo-ha is just ready for everybody to see. It also places a lot of pressure on your upper body because you're really just holding onto the bench for dear life as you try to curl a dumbbell with your feet. But the positives of this exercise is it not only is going to really, really, really hit your hamstrings, but it also is nice for your glutes because you're gonna wanna hold your legs up at the end of the bench. For more beginners, I definitely suggest sliding up so that your whole body is on the bench and then you can curl from there. But for my more intermediate slash advanced girls, scoot all the way down to the end of the bench until your hips are there. You're going to squeeze your butt nice and tight and you're going to curl the dumbbell just with your feet, keeping your feet flexed. You're gonna get that extra pinch that I was telling you about. All right guys, that is it for my current top five hamstring exercises. We're all just here trying to grow our stubborn hamstrings together. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite hamstring exercise is, and while you're at it, you can enter into today's giveaway. I gotta go get it though, because I forgot it. <laughs> Be right back. Today's giveaway is with FabFitFun. This is the FabFitFun winter box, and as you guys know, you already know what's inside of it, because I did a whole unboxing video. So if you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and go check it out, because it's already on my channel. I love FabFitFun, it's such a fun subscription box. It's a seasonal box, and it's full of fab stuff, fit stuff, and fun stuff. Lifestyle stuff, too. Same rules as always. You must like this video. You must be subscribed to my channel. You must follow me on Instagram, at Whitney, with two Ys, Simmons. And lastly, you must leave a comment below letting me know how I can reach you, whether that may be your Instagram handle or your Twitter or your email. But girl, I gotta slide into your DM. Thank you to FabFitFun for participating in a Witness giveaway. I'm so excited. I am opening this up internationally. So, anyone in the whole wide world, you can receive this. You're the star of my show. You can't just disappear like that, okay? People get very upset. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we will see you next time. Goodbye. Maybe he wants to be Grinch this Christmas. He's very grumpy every single day, okay? You need to take it down 10 notches. You need to take a chill pill. Thank you. Okay.